kids. Now that your father passed on, we all must be very strong. You and your kindergarten are unwelcome in this house! Mamila, what do you mean? What do you heard? My son is no longer with us. So you can forget about taking more money from me and my family. Go away! Kids, help me with your brothers. You can kick me out of the house with eight kids. They are your grandsons. Of course I can. And let me be clear about something. Those kids don't share my blood. What? Tell and Bea where my son pay attention to you. His love didn't let him see how easy a woman you are. You say that because of my humble origins? That and the fact you're a horny b hooking up with who knows how many. You really think I'm going to buy that those kids are my grandchildren? That they are from my Gustavo? No one resembles him. But if you want, you can run some DNA test or whatever you need. But please, I beg you, don't kick us out. I don't even have a job. Well, you should have thought about that while my son was a golden thing at the hospital. <laughs> my life turned around completely. What will I do now? I just know that when I look at my children, I'm willing to do anything for them. I'm just 20, and this is my heartbreaking life story. Kids, I lived here before I met your father. Your grandparents gave it to me. And now we're gonna live here. What? In this big city? Oh no, gross! Huh, Melanie, be more respectful! But... But... Why, Mom? Why did our grandmother get mad at us? She just... She... Because she hates us, didn't you hear, dummy? Don't call my sister a dummy, okay? Since you're like two drops of water? <laughs> hey, that's enough! Your grandma is going through a rough process. That's why she's confused. <sighs> but in the meantime, at least be grateful we have a roof over our heads. Mommy, are my toys inside this bag? Yes, my love. Let's go, my love. Mom, come on. There's no light. How can I charge my phone? My girlfriend's gonna get mad at me, huh? <laughs> well, the house is very old, kids. Give me a few days to solve this, okay? There's no water. How are we going to shower? Oh, God. Disgusting. You two smell kind of gross. Oh, shut up. Mom, I'm not trying to demand in bed. I'm in my finals week. Wants it to happen with school. Daughter, I guess I'm gonna have Please to- give it to me! Hey, Victoria, give me Chell his teddy bear. <laughs> uh, but don't start crying, you two. <gasps> Mom, the other twin is crying again. What do I do? Hold on. My babies. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. This is harder for me than for you.
<laughs> Mummy, are you crying? Dad, go back to bed. I'm okay. Oh, Mom, I know when you're lying, you're not okay. The thing is... I, I haven't even had time to process this. I haven't even warned your father. I haven't had time either, but we have to be strong. We can't just give up. I promised you and your seven brothers that I'm gonna be the best mother. I just need you to help me with your brothers. I promise I won't let you handle everything. Tomorrow, I'm going to look for a job. Yes, mommy. <laughs> Kids, be good, okay? Oh. Daughter, I'm leaving to go get a job. Yes. Help me with your yes, sister. Sister. Good luck with your interview. I'll take care, okay? Yes. Thank you, sweetie. You're in charge of the house. Bye. How nice. You're in charge of the house. <laughs> You're so annoying. Stop, Melanie. Kids, breakfast is ready. Oh, Isaac, help me. Isaac, help me with the thing, please. Come in, please. Have a seat. Good morning. Good morning. May I see your resume? Yes. Very well. Here it says you studied and graduated as a lawyer. Yaswani, all right, tell me about your experience. The truth is, I haven't practiced yet. Since I finished my studies, I dedicate to be a housewife. Look, I'm gonna be honest. This firm is very selective. But tell me then, why did you decide to practice until now? The thing is, my husband passed away and I have to provide for my eight children. <laughs> eight children? Oh my. No, Miss Joswani. Look, the thing is due to your lack of experience, I can't give you the job. Besides, with so many children, we need time for clients. But anyway, if you want, I do have the janitor's position. What do you say? Miss Maddie, your assistant is here. Can you take these to the recycling bin? Excuse me. Yes. Next. Joswani Flores? Joswani, is that you? <laughs> How have you been? I haven't seen you since we got out of college. How are you? Marilolis, I didn't know you were here. <laughs> well, look at me. Not so well. Last thing I heard, you were having lots of kids with your husband, right? <laughs> yes. The truth is, it's a good time. He just passed away due to a disease. I'm sorry, just when I didn't know. Sit down. But he didn't leave you an inheritance or something? I don't think so, and if it did, it's the same. My mother-in-law kicked me out of the house with all of my children. What? No, Joswani, she can do that to you. Look, I'll help you. We're going to investigate and see if he left you something, if he has property or life insurance. But Marilolis, I don't have a way to pay you. 
Joswani, I'm going to help you. We are friends again. You can count on me. Everything's fine now. We must do some paperwork, visit notaries. And how was work, mommy? <sighs> Melanie, daughter, can you help me carry your other brother? You carry him. Sweetie, I'm tired, understand it. So what? Did I ask you for two more brothers? Besides, I'm not the maid. Melanie, if my mom asks you something, just do it. Don't make a scene. Will you carry him? Or let Isaac do it? Hold on. Missy has been taking care of them all day. And Isaac is helping Michelle change. Isaac, son. The shirt is backwards. Oh, okay. It's just Mitch won't stop moving. Hey, you, all still. Oh, this can be. I'm surrounded with a bunch of useless. It seems like living in a place like this makes people more stupid. All right, Melanie. Everyone in here is under a lot of stress. Could you for once stop complaining and help? And how do you want me to do that? Look at the dumpster you brought us to live in. I'm tired. Until when we are going to stay here? Tell me. You shouldn't care about that. Melanie, stop. This is our new life, so you better get used to it. Well, you can get used to it as comeback. Because I deserve something better. I don't know who your father is, but I'm sure he isn't the same as mine. Okay, Melanie. Can you explain what do you mean with that? Well, what my grandma said. That you are possibly a horny bitch. Melanie? Melanie, daughter. Please forgive me. I hate you, Mom! <laughs> Yay, now we can watch movies! Nelly, go to our sister, run. Yes. <laughs> Melanie? Not now, Nelly. Leave me. My mommy is also crying like you. I also miss my bathroom and my toys. But I miss daddy even more. I miss him too. I know. I've seen you cry. You know, my dad wouldn't like us to be crying. No. He wouldn't like it. Come on. Let's go to our mom. Mom, I know I almost never say this, but I love you. Forgive me, please. <laughs> this beat is for my family, and I want you to use it as my last will. Daddy? Joswani, if you're watching this video, it's because I'm no longer with you. But I want you to know that with you I raise the family we always wish for. And I'll for the worst a person who never approved of love who is my mom, I want you to use this video to make it clear that all of my assets will be for you and for my children. My mom always opposed us. Be careful. I know perfectly well who I married. And I promise you that even my last breath will be for you because I love you, Yoswani. And I also love you, kids. 
to my big boy Isaac, although he's distracted. My baby Melanie, with all her character. My princess Mitzi, who always gets stressed. To my beautiful Nelly, who cares about the others. My sweetie Victoria, so passionate about the movies. And my playful little Mitch, and even though I'll never see how they grow, I love my baby twins, Luis and Carlos. Children, please take care of your mom. I will do the same with you from heaven. I love you all. Ma'am, we want to talk to you. We know all of the truth. Gustavo hid his last message in one of Victoria's films. Thanks to Marilolis, we got our assets back, our home. But the big lesson... I told you, Jasmine, I told you. <laughs> was understanding that the biggest asset was always with us, our family union. <laughs> <laughs>